it's interesting, like they, they always talk about when you move to LA, like you hope for your big Hollywood break. And I think I got mine, it's been about six months now. Uh, it was a Thursday night, I got an email from my manager that said, hey, call me immediately, urgent, doesn't matter how late. So I call him, I go, what's up? He goes, hey, we're submitting you for a role on the TV show, Two Broke Girls. And I just got to verify a couple things from the casting director. I was like, all right, what's up? He's like, how tall are you? I said, 6'8". He goes, how much do you weigh? I said, oh, about too much. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> so everything checks out. He goes, all right, cool. He goes, we're going to submit you on the show as a love interest. And I'm like, fucking sweet. I'm like, is it Kat Denning or is it the blonde chick? And he goes, no, it'd be for Patrick. <laughs> I go, did you say Patricia? He goes, no, it's definitely a dude, definitely Patrick. I was like, oh boy, all right. I go, you know what? I'm probably not gonna get it. Submit me for Patrick's love interest. And he goes, well, hold on, I gotta ask you one other thing. I go, what's that? He goes, how do you feel about kissing a man on network TV? <laughs> I'm like, how do I feel? It's fucking uncomfortable. That's how I feel. <laughs> this is how all the Hollywood stories start. Always starts with, hey, how do you feel about kissing a guy? Then, hey, how do you feel about kissing this dick? And then it just escalates from there. <laughs> but it's like, again, I'm probably not going to get the role. Go ahead, submit me for Patrick's love interest. So the next day I get an email, call me immediately. They want you to come in. And I'm like, fuck, I hope that doesn't mean Patrick. <laughs> So, so I call him, I go, what's up? I, he goes, you got it, you got the role. They want you on set immediately. So I was like, holy shit, all right, text me the address. So now I'm driving to the set of two broke girls, and I'm trying to wrap my head around, I'm about to fucking make out with a dude. Like, like I've never fucking kissed a guy sober, you know? <laughs> and here's the thing, it's like, I'm not gay, but I'm still a guy. So I'm like, competitive? <laughs> so the whole way there, I'm just going, all right, I'm not going to be the one they say was the bad kisser. So I just start popping Tic Tacs and I'm putting fucking Carmex on, like a dummy. <laughs> and then the other weird thing, as I'm driving there, I don't know why this came into my head, but as I'm driving there in my head, I'm just going, please God, let this dude that I have to kiss, please let him be like a really effeminate gay dude. I don't know why, like, I wanted that. Like, I had standards, like, oh, I hope he has blue eyes. I mean, I'm like, oh, I don't want a fucking blind date. But I get to the set. I get to the set, and they go, this is Patrick. And it's like looking in a fucking mirror. Oh, dude, the guy's 6'5", 340 pounds. He's bald, huge beard. He's all tatted up. Like, he looks like an axe murderer. And, and he's straight, too. He's straight, too. So they go, this is Patrick. And I go, are you the dude I'm making out with? And he just goes, yep. I'm like, all right. And then he goes, hey, by the way, let me just apologize now. I'm really sorry. I wasn't thinking. I've been drinking coffee all morning. I go, dude, you do realize, like, I'm not hoping for sparks from this. Like, I'm really just trying to fucking get through this. So now we're about to film the scene. And here's the thing. It's like, I'm a comic. I'm not an actor. So in my head, I'm going, what's a TV kiss? Is it like your lips touch, or is it your mouth's open but no talking? I have no idea. And then all of a sudden, out of my ear, I just hear, action! And this fucking mutant just grabs me. <laughs> and I just go, ah! And now he's just fucking right here. He's right here taking up real estate. Just right here. It was the first time I ever felt whiskers on my lips other than my own. <laughs> so fucking weird. But it also tickled at first, so I kind of went, oh, whoa, what the fuck? Was that me? That was me? Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> and what's happening in the scene is like, we're in the middle of this embrace, and then the blonde girl from Two Broke Girls, she walks in, and then we stop, and they have dialogue. So the first two takes, I'm just kind of like watching them talk. And then by the third take, in my head, I'm like, all right, I'm on a major TV show now, I guess, I guess I'm an actor, I should act. So in my head, I'm going, okay, so what would I do if, if like I was gay and this was my boyfriend? So the third take, when he starts talking, I just kind of like, I just like start rubbing his belly. Like, I'd probably do that if I was my boyfriend, I don't fucking know. The fourth take, I don't know where this came from, the fourth take, I just start doing circles around his nipple. As he's talking. <laughs> and then they go, cut, and the guy goes, dude, what the fuck are you doing to my nipple? What the fuck, dude? I go, I don't know, I'm trying to act, I'm, try I'm trying to be an actor, I'm a, I'm a method actor, let me suck your dick, I don't know! I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know! <laughs> but, but everybody on the cast and crew, everybody was extremely.
extremely nice. I have nothing but nice things to say about them, and it, it's a weird thing to be your big Hollywood break, but if you want to see the, the episode I was I filmed, it was uh, it was last year's season finale, and you gotta go about 10 minutes into the episode, then look for the part that doesn't fucking exist. They cut my